welcome to my office. Everyone and welcome to today's video. My name is Emily and I am a digital nomad entrepreneur traveling the world and building my business. So today I thought it would be interesting to show to you what type of equipment and what type of office I travel the world with. So welcome to my digital nomad entrepreneur office tour. So before we start, I think it's important that you know what I do. A lot of the stuff I use is the same, I think, for a lot of people working online, but in particular, I'm working on video content creation. So I spend a lot of time editing, filming, and then of course the regular stuff like chatting with clients and brainstorming and coming up with concepts. I have split all of the things that I travel with for my work into three categories. We have got tech, we have got tech accessories, and then finally we've got stationery. So let's crack on. So when it comes to tech, I guess the obvious things that I'm using every single day in my business will be the same as a lot of traveling entrepreneurs or digital nomads. And that is my laptop, which you can see behind me. I'm using the MacBook Pro. It's one of the latest ones. I will have the model listed in the description. I'm really not a tech person, but it gets the job done. It's fantastic for editing photos, editing videos, and then of course all the regular stuff like keeping on top of emails. Equally, I use my phone a lot in my business. I have the iPhone 7 Plus, and I don't think I need to explain too much about why a phone is useful in my business, but if you're interested in hearing more about the apps I use, I would love to do a video on that. The next piece of tech, which of course is very important, is my camera. Now, I can't show you this one right now because I'm filming on it, but I use the Canon 700D. It is a DSLR. I have got along fantastically with it so far. It's perfect for filming YouTube videos, for filming any client projects. And of course, with that come the lenses. So right now I'm filming on the Canon 35mm 1.2. I also have the Canon 50mm with me and the kit lens, which I also carry around. As a backup camera, I sometimes use my phone if it's I need to snap a quick picture or clip of what I'm doing, but what comes really useful is this little Canon G7X. This is one of the older models, but I like it a lot. It's got a good microphone on it. It's easy to fit in my bag, even in my pocket, if I just need a little camera and don't wanna take my DSLR with me. When it comes to client work, I mostly do editing, so I'm using my laptop the most, but I do sometimes need to film little clips around and about the place, which is when these cameras are really useful and obviously for my own YouTube stuff and for fun. I think even if I didn't have a business while I was traveling, I would be taking pictures and I would have my DSLR with me and videos. The final piece of tech, which I think is worth mentioning is hard drives. Especially when you're working with video and photo, you get a lot of big files that you need to back up. When you're traveling, hard drive is not the most efficient way to store things. I'll be the first to admit that, but I like having the hard drives. I will back up any photo and video files, any important business files. I have four with me in total. So this one is 2016, as you can see, and it's just as much to access old footage that I might want to put into a project as it is to back up new footage and my laptop. I'm fully aware that this isn't the perfect office setup. This is just how I've been making it work so far and I'm sure that will evolve as time goes on. Remember there are online options too, so things like Google Drive and Dropbox are also great options that I would recommend because, you know, it can be hard to keep stuff like hard drives safe when you are travelling. I keep most of it in just this little satchel bag thing. I think it's meant to be for makeup but I find it great to fit things like spare batteries. I've got an extra battery for my DSLR and an extra battery for my little point and shoot. Things like spare SD cards, chargers. I've got two phone chargers. I need a charger for each of my cameras. I have my laptop charger. And of course, when you're traveling the world, you need converters. Right now, I just have a couple of 
European converters with me because I have been traveling mostly around Europe, so solely around Europe so far. Next, I have got my tripods. So this is gonna be important if you're doing any kind of video and photo work. I try to keep it to the bare minimum I can. I travel around the world with two bags. I have got my little Joby Gorilla Pod here. This is for if I'm just going out for the day or I don't know, I need an extra tripod, certain types of shots. It's malleable and fun to play with. Honestly, I don't use this one as much as the big one, which I'm filming on right now, which was just a hand-me-down that I've had for years. The make is called Hammer, but I will have everything listed in the description below if you want to find out more or want to follow any links. Put it down, Emily. Now, another thing, I wasn't really sure if it fit into my traveling digital nomad office but it's definitely something i need to think about when i'm in a new country is sim cards now i have my go-to sim card which is my uk one and does give me a certain amount of data in each country however when wi-fi is not reliable i like to have some data on my phone in the local country that i can use um, to tether my laptop if i have to do an important call and i just can't rely on the wi-fi I've accumulated quite a few of these and I'm constantly looking out for a better option that is cost efficient, particularly because I do deal with a lot of big files and sometimes Wi-Fi just isn't up to scratch. Since I've been in Belgium, which is where I am right now, I've purchased, I think just two SIM cards. This one is Leica Mobile, Leica Mobile, do not recommend. And this one is Proximus. It worked better, but I go through these things like super fast. I'm kind of old school when it comes to this. I love nothing more than a good notebook and a pen, but I do have to rein myself in a bit. I've managed to bring it down to just three notebooks. I have got my uh, bigger notebook here. This I use for more formal copies of brainstorms, kind of like the final plans for things, um, video ideas, title ideas, client brainstorming. Then I've just got one that I scribble notes in here. So both of these are great for brainstorming. When it comes to brainstorming, nothing beats a notebook and a pen, in my opinion. Finally, I've got my mindset journal. I think that when it comes to business and being your own boss, one of the biggest obstacles can be the limitations you set yourself. So this really helps me to keep track of that, be aware of it, and sort of conquer any limiting beliefs that I get when they pop up. This is a new addition over the last few months. I'd recommend giving this a go if you haven't already. Pencil case for pencils and whatnot. I've recently also got a big planner. Again, I work better when I write things down and Google Calendar is great, but I do prefer just to put everything out on paper on a Monday morning. I'm getting used to doing this. It's a new addition. I'm not sure if it'll stay, but for now, it's traveling with me. This kind of falls into stationery. I always carry around some business cards. I'm getting some new ones soon because these ones are kind of old, but you never know when you're gonna bump into someone who wants to know more about your business. As a digital nomad, it can be kind of difficult to know when to bring what. In the sense of when it comes to legal documents, it's great to digitize things, but sometimes you do need an original copy of something. So it's a big folder but it gives me peace of mind. And I know that if I need anything, if I'm signing up for something, if I've hired someone, if an accounting problem comes up, I'm gonna have everything I need in here. So I'm sure that my traveling office will continue to evolve as I move through my digital nomad journey. I'm definitely gonna be expanding and trying to make it work as I continue to travel. What do you think is your number one item that you could not live without for work? And you're not allowed to say laptop or phone because that's cheating. Please let me know in the comments. If you would like to find out more about how to create this kind of lifestyle, then I would recommend you check out my last video all about doing just that. I hope you have a fantastic week and I will see you in my upload next week. Bye everyone.